In a year like no other, Wayne 15 was there to provide the critical news and information viewers needed in Northeast Indiana and Northwest Ohio. Bringing our viewers local coverage you can count on by telling the stories of our local health care workers as they navigated the COVID-19 pandemic. It's an awakening to understand that it really is real. You got to show a lot of compassion. Stories from the front lines of COVID-19. Parkview staff share their most heartbreaking and unforgettable experiences and expressing our gratitude to hospital workers during hospital week. May 9th through the 15th is National Hospital Week. Along with students and faculty at IU Fort Wayne, we want to say thank you to healthcare workers everywhere for helping us get through a difficult year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys for dedicating your time and effort into keeping our community safe. Thank you. You took on a lot within this last year and you did it with nothing but grace and strength. You're pretty cool. From all of us at Wayne 15. Thank you. Watching the skies throughout the year as severe storms impact our viewing area in late summer. It's been a dangerous day of severe weather across the Midwest, and tonight those storms move through our area. Take a look at what we're tracking. I was sitting in my rocking chair watching TV, Channel 15. We have team coverage of tonight's severe weather and some of the damage it left behind. Police got a call about a tipped over mobile home, as you can see. Brought the tree all the way up onto a fence, onto portions of the roof here. Cleanup continues in one of the hardest hit areas. <laughs> it hit all at once. And again during a snowy February. A major winter storm hits the area, and Wayne 15 is there. Little Slack Park in Huntington. Just what we have been forecasting. Bringing you vital information. Wayne 15 has team coverage. Oh, dangerous and treacherous. These roads are very messy. Can't see the painted road lines. Keeping you safe. Keeping you a live look at the road conditions. And Another keeping you informed. I'll show you how to get your car unstuck out of the When the weather turns, turn to Wayne 15. On the air and online. Local coverage you can count on. When COVID-19 forced the cancellation of Fort Wayne's biggest holiday celebration, Wayne 15 was there to light Santa and bring our community some much needed holiday joy. And to create a holiday special showcasing the rich history of downtown's lighting display. The Night of Lights is one of Fort Wayne's favorite holiday traditions. And while the COVID-19 pandemic has changed a lot this year, the sights and sounds of this downtown classic continue to endure. All of the lighting displays you know and love are up and lit, and they'll stay lit throughout the new year. Now, since we can't gather together as a large group to celebrate the lightings, we'll do our very best to show you how it all came to be, starting way back with the Christmas displays at the Wolf and Dessauer department store. While Wayne 15 sports team explored the rich 100 plus years of baseball history in the Summit City. Celebrating Fort Wayne's baseball heritage. The game of baseball is certainly full of serendipity and that rings true as we approach the 150th anniversary of the first professional league game being played right here in Fort Wayne. So Fort Wayne is a pioneering sports city. There's something to be said about the Daisy. They were that good. In 1927, May 6th, the New York Yankees, the Murderer's Row New York Yankees, uh, the most famous baseball team possibly ever, came by Fort Wayne and played the Lincoln Lifers. The game was tied 3-3 in the 10th inning. There was a man on, and Babe Ruth hit a home run to win the game 5-3. As we hit the one-year mark of the COVID-19 pandemic, Wayne 15 looked back at the local response, bringing context and hope to what our community had been through. It's been one year since COVID-19 first came to our area. Now, in a Wayne 15 digital original, meet one of the first patients from Northeast Indiana with COVID-19. It took seven months to basically get almost back to normal. And as we work towards a new normal, see how the pandemic has changed our local frontline workers. Many people have not only been affected personally, but have had family members and friends who have either become severely ill or have lost their lives. Educators. It takes a healthy and safe learning environment in order for us to engage, support, and challenge each learner. And life in general. If you step out of the box and um, take a look in, you can overcome challenges. Virtual programming allows arts and cultural activities to be made available to even more people. So we've been able to serve new and different audiences and that's been really exciting. COVID-19, one year later. A Wayne 15 digital original, now on Wayne.com. Wayne 15 also brought together members of the law enforcement community with local leaders to talk about the relationship between police and the community. One difficult year after Fort Wayne's George Floyd protests. 
One year after the George Floyd protests in downtown Fort Wayne turned violent, Wayne 15 is asking community leaders what's changed. Join us for Focus 15 Police and the Community, a special live stream on Wayne.com. Dirk and I will moderate a panel discussion of community leaders, law enforcement officials, protesters, as well as elected officials. Our panel will also be answering your questions. Thanks for joining us for Focus 15 Police and the Community. Asking the tough questions. It's the police and the community. It's and. Not separate, we work together. Wayne 15 also profiled four of Northeast Indiana's most remarkable women, sharing their inspiring stories. And showed how a diverse group of women voters could find common ground, even while disagreeing in our ongoing A House Divided series. This presidential election year, Wayne 15 is partnering with Advancing Voices of Women to present A House Divided. Our exclusive panel discussions to help us better understand each other's personal beliefs and differences. All day Thursday on Wayne 15, we'll dig deeper into women's rights and the Me Too movement to discover how much progress has been made and what still needs to be done. Join the conversation all day Thursday, only on Wayne 15 and Wayne.com, your local election headquarters. In an unprecedented presidential election, Wayne 15 was your local election headquarters. Wayne 15 is your local election headquarters, bringing you live team coverage as the vice president visited Fort Wayne from touchdown to takeoff. In Indiana, we do two things really well. We make things and we grow things. With an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. I didn't want to miss talking to Wayne. On November 3rd, vote. And then join us for election results as they come in on air and on Wayne.com. We'll have live team coverage highlighting the local, state, and national races that impact you with expert analysis throughout the evening. And as we cast our votes during a pandemic, I'll be at election board headquarters watching for any voting issues that may come up on election day. On the air and on Wayne.com. And our annual Founders Day of Caring project, Wayne 15 went big, partnering with the Community Harvest Food Bank. The response from the community was overwhelming. Viewers brought over 10,000 pounds of food to the TV station during the one-day food drive. Right now, one in six Hoosiers are food insecure. And with your help, we can all make a difference. Wayne 15 is proud to partner with the Community Harvest Food Bank for a food drive on Thursday, June 17th. We'll be collecting canned goods, boxed meals, and other items as you see on your screen here at Wayne 15 from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Collected food will be donated to Community Harvest Food Bank and distributed to those in need in our community. So help us help those in need and bring your donation to Wayne 15 this Thursday. We are collecting non-perishable food items for the Community Harvest Food Bank. So many people have come out today to do this, and for that we are so grateful. Helping our community. One gentleman actually came with a pickup truck full of cans, and his donation filled two pallets alone. This is something Wayne 15 very proud to be a part of. So thankful to our partners at Wayne 15, but then again to our community. Doing good for others. From the bottom of all of our hearts here at Wayne 15, and on behalf of the Community Harvest Food Bank, we thank you committed to our community. This massive building in Rossford, Ohio is very similar to what we can expect to see along US 30. We got exclusive access, a look inside the building. Committed to telling local stories that matter. A sign on the box says, please no dumping. As you can see behind me, that is clearly not the case here. Getting results. This parking lot is looking much different than it was yesterday. They will work with their partners to assure that this does not happen again. Delivering coverage you can count on every day. On every screen. Wayne 15 continues to be the leader in Northeast Indiana.